everyone, it's Presley at actoutgames.com here, and today we will be dissecting a frog, I believe. So me and my homeschool group got together for a dissection again, and this time we dissected a frog. We couldn't dissect the whole frog there because I had to leave for jujitsu, but we are going to dissect the rest of the frog here so you can see a bit more up close of me dissecting this frog. So first we did an external overview of the frog and we looked inside its mouth and at the teeth and at the tongue and we looked at the five toes and four fingers and we stuck our probe through its ex internal and external snaws or its nose for those of you people who don't know the fancy dissection terms and we then we cut open the frog and we started looking at the insides we pinned the arms and legs down so we could get a better look at the insides and then we used the pinched the skin so we had kind of a guideline for where to cut as well as we wouldn't cut too much inside the internal organs so we cut the skin in kind of an H shape and we and then we peeled some of this and then we peeled the skin off and there was muscle we cut through the muscle in H shape and then pinned that down so we pinned everything down so we could get a good look at the insides so the first thing we saw was a little bit of this fat and this fat here is this weird yellow macaroni and cheese looking thing that makes me kind of hungry because it looks like mac and cheese or noodles and but that is just the fat of the frog there's not too much in mine i think i got a pretty skinny frog because i don't have very much fat in there and then we looked at the liver which a fun fact is it's almost the same color as a human liver and it had three parts and we looked at all three of the parts and then we removed the liver and we looked at the stomach and later in the video I'm going to cut open the stomach and see what my frog has been eating and before I've, dissect, I've watched someone dissect a snake and we didn't have anything inside the stomach so I highly doubt there's going to be anything in a stomach but one of my friends had actually had some stuff in the mouth of their frog which was pretty cool. So we just removed some of the fat, the stomach, and some of the intestine. And we cut open the stomach and there's some sort of seed thing. If you guys have any idea what that is, please post it in the comments below. And now we're going to cut up and look at the lungs and the heart. And that will be it for the frog dissection. So then we cocked open the rib cage and we found some of the lungs and heart. So that's really cool. I like those. Um, they might be one of my favorite parts of the dissection. As well as the fat is pretty cool. I like looking at this noodley substance, which is all of the frog's fat, which is cool. It's really cool because this is one of the more complex animals that we're going to be doing. So I really like how similar this actually is to a human body. You wouldn't believe how similar a frog is to us. Although, if you know the fact, bananas share 50% of their DNA with us, it's not too far-fetched that we share a lot, that we share a lot with a frog. So, I really love doing the frog, and I love how complex and fun it was. It was absolutely amazing. There will be a link in the description to where you can buy one of the kits with all of the things I've done so far, as well as a few other animals in the description so you can do this at home, as well as a link to the videos we watched. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.